this was a great tragedy for our community to lose such a fine young man as John Musto. In some way, the score has been settled thanks to superb action by our Coast Guard. The shark has been eliminated. How much did the shark weigh? Did you cut it open? Are you still planning on running for governor? I'm not here to answer political questions. I'm just here to tell you that a fine young man from our town by a shark in our waters. That shark has, has been destroyed. This death has been avenged to a certain extent. That's not true. That was the wrong shark out there. The shark that killed John had a black dorsal fin. I've told this to the chief. You have to believe me. I saw it. All right, son. It's enough. What's up? Enough is enough. Right, let's go. What are you doing? I'm taking you in for disturbing the peace. Please, listen to me. That monster is still out there. to me, remember? Well, I'm right again. How many sharks can there be out there? Chief, there's someone here to see you. He's got another missing person report again. Right. Sheriff, is Janice. She didn't show up for work, and that's very unusual for her. So I called her house. She didn't show up at home last night. And then one of my helpers found these shoes on the beach. They're hers. I know they're hers. Maybe she drowned. I'm sure she died a very different death. The shark? Yes. And we're gonna kill that shark all together. All three of us. Are you crazy? You remember the blood oath we took years ago with the Indian? I saw that same Indian today on the docks when they brought that shark into the harbor. What? You think I'm crazy, don't you? I know you do. Everyone thinks it. Well, I'd rather be crazy all the way. Remember the arrow box we buried along with our four knives? I think we should dig it up. What for? You know, none of this makes sense. It's not gonna bring John back either. Buddy, why don't you just go home? Get some rest. I don't need any rest. I need to go after that shark. I owe it to John. We all do. But how? How are we gonna find it? Let alone kill it? I have something in mind. Let's go. The Coast Guard was magnificent. They got the shark right away. And there's no more danger. Absolutely not. I explained all that this morning at my press conference. Let's touch the Coast Guard. All right.
this was John's name. I don't know. I mean, you guys are not just after a shock, you're after blood. We need you, Mr. Shelby. Hey, come on, they got experts to handle this kind of thing. I don't know, I don't know. Let's just say it's sort of a personal matter, Dad. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. You think it's easy to kill a shark? No, but that's why we need your help. I don't know. No, this is totally insane, I'm telling you, it's just totally insane. chunks of meat on the floats. They love those big muscles. We keep changing direction. The sound of the propellers attract them at first, then it annoys them. You mean sound attracts sharks? Yeah, not only this sound, the pallet sound as well. This shit is disgusting. would eat our catch? Well, we did. Look those chunks of meat. Man. They wrapped some sticks of dynamite on them. Yeah, that's right. Blow them bastards right out of the water.
know it was him. Bastard got away. What's that? Something an old Indian gave us some time ago. It has to do with a legend about a monster from the sea. I know that legend since I was a little kid. It's Wakan. The Indians believe that the god of the sea sends a monster to wipe out the whole tribe. Let me see that. Still can't make any sense out of it. Well, maybe we can make some sense out of it. Let's go on hunting. It's a trawl line off some fishing boat. She's knotted around the blade like a 10-pound watermelon. We can't use the engines till we free the blade. What do we do? I'll die. It's off the line. No. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. I'm the captain here. Find that poor girl's body. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is call in the Coast Guard again. Maybe bring in their marksman. All right, Mr. Mayor, I'll be heading for the office. Coast Guard? This is Mayor Barrett. Yes, we need your services again. Oh. 